Oh, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to another LEGO Star Wars review, and this one is on Hot Rebel Base from 2007. So on the front of the box here, we have the LEGO and Star Wars logos, and that interesting border of that with Darth Vader and a large 30 saying 77 to 07. Seven, since, of course, this was 2007, the 30th anniversary of A New Hope, of course. And then, picture of everything included, and all the meme figs included, and new, well, new at the time, the exclusive K-3PO fig. And then, limited edition, and the 30th anniversary Star Wars, or now, episode 4, A New Hope. And limited edition, probably indicated as a... Uh, Either, not sure it was Toys R Us exclusive, or Target exclusive, or Walmart exclusive. Well, just let me know in the comments below. Just let me know in the comments, of course. But, age recommendation, 8 and up, set number 7666. Kind of neat set number. And 548 pieces. Oh, uh, hang on. Okay. So here's onto the back of the box. So it has that neat border again, and some different picks and features of the set. And on the side, advertisement of a couple other sets from the time, or a few other sets from the time, such as the Naboo Fighter, which I previously reviewed, and the very first battle packs, and everybody's favorite, the later MTT. Right, which I hope they, we get a remake of soon, but yeah, and that is it with the box. And now onto the instruction manual. So it's same picture as on the front of the box and everything. On the back, advertisement for some other 2007 sets, or at least summer 2007 sets. Then add for the online survey and Lego Club. Add for the Lego Star Wars uh, Complete Saga game that there was. Then all the pieces that come with the set. Then add for a couple of the features and the little pick of the set and also the last steps. To the mini things. I'll zoom up a bit. So first up, we would have young Luke Skywalker, well in his X-wing snowspeeder pilot outfit, and also kind of similar to most previous versions, and helmet piece of which quite similar to other versions, and. With, well, with that uh, rebellion symbol on it, and also, of course, well, face print now with, with a with traditional skin color, just skin color, and also with the face print similar to past versions, and and he of course wielding both a blaster and also blue lightsaber, but and of course, which is the like grayish kind of color, but. Since, of course, at this time is when they went over to a regular gray colored lightsabers instead of chrome, you know. But at least they got the regular silver in like 2012 or 13, or maybe 2011. Uh, I'm not sure about that. I'm uh, not sure about that. Uh, correct me in the comments, but yeah. And next to which is Dak, also to coincide with the snow speeder, also included with the set. And then same torso printing as Luke, of course, and, and also same helmet piece, but with different printings and the symbols in blue and traditional Lego minifigure face, but on skin color. But at least he got that updated versions in like 2010. And we got two Hoth Rebel Troopers, which quite similar to ones that came in most other sets. Well, we goggles of which quite 
uh, unique and also similar to other versions. And, and next which are two snow troopers, also kind of common in most sets, but which I think probably came in some other sets after this one. And yeah, also in the 2009 uh, Echo Base, you know. Since, of course, that was probably to coincide with this set a couple years after, but yeah. But torso printing, done quite good. And also, if you notice, with all the minifigs in this set, not only leg printing, well, since these are earlier figures, of course. And the only one that is exclusive to this set is K3PO, which I'm not sure if this came in any other sets or this was the only set this ever came in, but yeah. But however, the uh, headpiece of which quite just the same as C3PO's, but in pure white, of course. And torso printing uh, done quite good, and not only leg printing. Would have been nice if he did have some leg printing, but. If he were remade now, I'd probably expect that. Or ever did get remade, I hope he gets some good updates. But yeah. And then onto the back of each of them. Well, all the mini figs, not at all any uh, back torso printing, nor uh, double side face. Print. Well, since these are earlier figures, of course. And whereas these snow troopers, these. That the mask piece and backpack piece, all two different pieces, which they have been like for a long time. But yeah, at least till recently in 2022, kind of updated that. And, uh, and whereas K3PO, only minifig of this whole set to have back torso printing, and of course the same as C3PO's, of course. But yeah. And so now that's. So now that's about it with all the mini pigs included. Also included is this little turban, to which for when your snow troopers to take control of. It's, uh, hang on a sec. Okay. Also, as for being quite minimalistic, done well, quite effective. Like with the cone piece at the end, and also this little spot where you can stick a lightsaber rod into and flick it, and it would flick out. So, kind of the start of flip fire missiles, of course. And that was about it with that. And now on to the one accessory, the probe droid. And as you can see, quite similar, or at least the same as we often have with most other probe droids, like on a clear stand, but with a clear, with a white dish uh, under on the bottom representing the white uh, snow on Hoth, of course. And also bow droid arms and also a black dish piece on top and also lever representing an antenna of course but aside from that this pro droid in particular uh quite well done or quite good for as is but also with the stuns on both sides and also good symmetry with him and yeah and that is it with the pro droid and also get this little gantry crane kind of thing and, and well does have good symmetry with the uh, yellow curved slopes all around on each side for that and also this like a car rim piece on the back and, and a little seat to sit a mini thing onto of course and these three yellow technic beams and that, which you can, of course, swivel back and forth if you'd like. And when to, what this red bit is for, which I'll go over a little later. But for as is, uh, quite good for how it is. And also, not only like curved uh, uh, kind of pieces underneath, which would have been nice to make it hover, look like it was hovering. Wait, yeah. And 
Although it does feel kind of close to kind of like a battle pack vehicle. Well, maybe in earlier times, but as for a side build, it's still quite good for what it is. But yeah. I'm sorry, we'll do that. And now on to the Rebel Snowspeeder. So as this version in particular, there was well, this was the third version of the Snowspeeder we've got ever gotten. And of course we did get plenty more after this one. But as is uh, almost as fair good as most other versions like the same shape being done correctly and and whereas on and for both on the back side also like other versions the winch bit can turn up outwards to wrap around the at 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 walkers There's, and also good grilling or grill detailing back there and as for these side wing bits well as you can see it does have these flat bits that open up a course and also the same build techniques as most previous other snow speeders and jagged sloping there and also the classic space uh, cannon pieces on the front part as for the center bit, same exact cockpit piece that others and also the and all X wings use. There's and also large jacket slope in the front. And for this center cockpit area, which you can open right up, and right and there is a, another, another slope with a sticker bit onto it, and of course enough space to fit both your Luke and Dak minifigs into. Uh, hang on. Take okay, both your Luke and Dak minifig. And they fit quite well on there, just like so. And Dak from this side can kind of be able to look out well, but well, at least it's mostly Luke that does so. Or actually, it's the opposite way. Uh, I'm kind of scrambled on this. My memory scrambled. But yeah. Also, one little thing that's a little different than the other uh, snow speeders, which with this gantry crane bit that I mentioned that I showed earlier, you can like attach it to one of these engine bits and just take it right off and let this hold that right on to it to look like it's been dis disassembled a bit and operate on. Quite unique and different than most uh, snow speeders that there were. But whereas with this version, you get these larger plate pieces that have a few jumper studs on it and also a large sticker representing some internal uh, electronic bits to it, and, oh, which is quite nice and different. So at least good to see something a little bit different than most snow speeder sets we usually get. But also a little disappointing is not at all any like shoot launcher type features because unlike most versions we get like stud shooters and spring load launchers onto it but maybe this that would have been a little too much for this set but yeah and that is about it with the snow speeder now on to the torrent part of which which as you can see uh, quite good for what it is with like few pieces added to it, but also a little different than later versions of this turret. 
like for the Hoth Echo Base and the 2016 Hoth Attack and all. Like for the bottom part, quite simplistic as is, just a large plate and a few white jagged slopes there. And also these castle corner pieces to it. And also this large interior space where you can enough space to fit a minifig into and operate in. And as for the top cannon bit, uh, done quite good for what it is. Like you get plenty of curved slopes around and also so both these larger dish pieces both on top and bottom, which we've probably seen in like the uh, uh, travel pod creator sets that we that there were at the time. And also, do you get a support piece with a cone on the end representing its large turn to course? And also, the main feature with this is if you get a lightsaber rock piece and like stick it in there or in one of these slots, then and also tap on this cone piece and it launches right out. So just like we there was with the 2006 uh, Imperial Star Destroyer set. So just about getting figuring, still figuring out how to do flip fire missiles and then later spring load launchers of course, but yeah. So as is, uh, quite all right, but yeah. Uh, let me take this off of course. Now onto the uh, Hoth Rebel base itself. Well, quite simplistic and all right for what it is. And of course, a little different than the one that we got in the UCS Assault on Hoth set from like 2016. But at least it's just one section of it, although you can still get it with other sets, but yeah. But as for this front gate section as is, uh, done very well like do get a whole bunch of jagged slopes all over and a few regular by one bricks in the center and also from first glance you can see the big ugly rock pieces but in white mixed with blue quite cool for how it is look like there's like there's some ice going or frozen around it and of course which you can definitely use in plenty of mocks if you want as for the store section, it's made of just more plates and one by one plates and bricks, and also ridged bricks in them. And what those trans orange cones are for is if you turn on them, it let opens it up like so. And also, and if you wanted, it's plenty enough space to. Uh, bit your Rebel Snowspeeder right through it and have it fly out like the movie, of course. And still quite well done. As for in this interior space here, it has these two smallish sections that fold outwards like that, but for the rest of which, barely much going on. Like for this one section over here. Which, as you can see, on one big large corner plate piece and on a swivel joint to it, and this little bike rack piece that holds a little pickaxe there. Oh, look. And also this little control panel that or it may have just a couple of jacket slopes there and these two window pieces that swivel out and hold some sort of radar system on it of course so as for this folding out feature quite well for how it is always oh, good for storage and also extra room on the dis room on the shelf and whatnot but yeah and as for the other side of which which is kind of the same with that, but except it has this little build that I can spin around a bit, but of which comprised of a, mostly a hexagon plate and also a few uh, curved slopes around with 
jumpers on them. And why they're there is because on the bottom of the snow speeder, it has which has an extra by four plate sticking out for that. And you can just easily rest it on for that. Uh, like so. And it does spin kind of well and freely. So that was quite well done feature. So, which making it still different than most snow speeder. Let me get everything here. Okay, so now on to the final verdict. So overall, this I think, which is a quite cool, good set for Asin. Get plenty of good stuff going on, plenty of good play value going on. And a little bit of good display value as well, but although some bits of it, usually the snow speed are a little bit repetitive for that, but the rest of which was kind of all new and everything for the time it, of it in 2007, of course. But as for minifig selection, ones that we've gotten plenty of times after this one, but except for K3PO, which was kind of the big incentive, but yeah. And although. And of course, this was good to have, if you, well, as well as a few hot sets to get to a large uh, hot display going on without getting the Assault on Hot UCS set, of course, but yeah. And also for the price for PC, which is uh, quite good for what it was, and also the uh, size for price of it, quite fair for the time, but yeah. And so now, if y'all, if you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to this set, I'd say definitely pick it up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.